Hello and welcome coaches to the Fieldhouse, the place where coaches can get together, collaborate, teach, and learn from other coaches who love the game. Please like, subscribe, and comment below to help grow this channel and also give us an idea of what kind of content you would like to see in the future here at the Fieldhouse. Today on the Fieldhouse, we will have our very first film session in which we will watch, commentate, and break down game film. Today, we're going to take a look at the 2016 Bartlett Yancey and Western Harnett game, which had an exi very exciting and improbable end. Joining me today in the field house to talk about the game will be Coach Tony Pyland and Coach Kerry Norman, who were a part of the Western Harnett staff, and Coach Darnell Dumas, who worked with me on the staff at Bartlett Yancey. This film session is done in the loving memory of Coach Jason Fury, a dear friend and head coach of the 2016 Western Harnett squad. We miss you and we love you. Can't wait to see you again on the other side. Coaches, hope you enjoy. Um, let's get to it. Hey coaches, Coach Weathersby back here with you for part three of Western Harnett versus Bartley Yancey High School 2015 film breakdown. I'm here with Coach Norman, Coach Pyland, and Coach Dumas for the third and fourth quarters of this, this game. Right now, the score, um, Western Harnett's up by two. I think it's 20, or it's actually 20 to 14, or 21 to 14 um, at, this at this time. So let's see who wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give it away, Norman. I'm not giving it away. <laughs> I'm not wearing either school colors anymore, so you don't know which side I was on. <laughs> I'm wearing Triton colors, so, you know. Y'all are eating us up on the defensive line right now. Eating us up. We're trying to do all we can. I'm going to pass pro and then we're just not very good throwing the ball. There were some dudes. Fury had some dudes on defense. Imagine Long that. Lean, quick kids. Imagine that. The head coach has. has yeah. Has on his side of the ball, got all the athletes. Exactly. Hey, I never did that at BY, did I there, Dumas? Never. <laughs> Can't say too much. <laughs> <laughs> now, did that was that the one playing in this game? Yes. He was. Cause he got hurt some sometime during that this year. I don't remember what it was. Well, he was playing because uh he came out and called me out right right at the beginning of the warm-up session called call me out at midfield my kids are like you know that guy i was like yeah i do he's yeah. a good kid he's crazy oh watch out for him yeah there we better, go you better block him yeah there we go mashing just mash just keep mashing Mm. Mm. That kid Skills was turned out to be 32. Can't, turned out to be a daggone great player, but he's a freshman right here playing defensive end, and he misses this. Holy cow! Man, squeeze. Yeah. That kid bent so, everybody's not reading. Hmm. Jeez. Look at that receiver you're flying in there getting that block late. Good job, Norman. If you couldn't tell, Norman's the receiver's guy. Touchdown, y'all y'all go up again. So this right here is the third score. So this yeah, that's be, the third score. So it's it's 22. either twenty or twenty two. Now did y'all call did you call this again? Y'all almost got it the first time, so now y'all, or he just, 
I think that was just Rocky a bad balls. kick. He's going to line, line drive at somebody. Yeah. You can tell because they were spread out. When we did it the first time, they were still huddled. There you go. We're still trying to run 15 because he's pretty much our only guy. Yeah. It's doing anything. Counter trade. We weren't very good. Who was that on? Coming down. Fury put in a five man front at this point. Yeah. The last two plays. Oh, we should have. Mm. How many times, Tony, how many times are we standing on the sideline and somebody beat us in post wheel, curl wheel, something, and Fury would just lose his mind? Well, where oh, do you gosh. think I got the post wheel from off of this stuff in Wing T? That's Fury's stuff. He loves the post wheel. Oh, he loved it, but he used to just – God, he would cuss. When those, oh. that, those DBs would, would not switch it. Post wheel was our uh, kryptonite that year. Mm-hmm. It, it lost us a couple JV games. Get a, get a little punt. We got to get the ball back now. Mm-hmm. I thought that kid had a pretty good senior year. Mm -hmm. This is where, you know, we're poised to put the game out and put the game away. I believe this is the uh, the one where Keith gets driven under the fence and it's kind of over after that. Mm. Our our freshman kid, boy, he, he's a player, but he just threw your guy four yards forward. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Uh oh. Oof. How? Like I said, coaches, we're we're. This ain't the prettiest game, but it was very competitive. And there goes the scissors. That's the third time you did the scissors. We finally we finally nailed it. Love it. Offensive line Eric turn Russell. around watching. Uh oh. We're off schedule now. Supposed to be a screen. I don't think so. Run it again. No. Yeah. I'll run this again. I doubt it. Because it looks like you are set it up for a screen. Uh, maybe that lineman's coming downfield awful hard, yeah. I think it's a, maybe a swing pass, but it, honestly, knowing Keith, it was probably supposed to be toss. <laughs> Mm. No punting. That might be the biggest punter in the state, too. Yeah. I think he played Jake. three. He played three technique on the other side. All right. Let's get the ball back. We're, we're going – we got to try something different. Not that. Shoot. Sure. That was – that was terrible. I don't know. We're both teams are falling apart right now. It oh, was hot. And we were fatties. Oh, JB. Yeah. Great kid. Godly, I love JB. <laughs> but say hey. Well, that happened a lot to a lot of people that year because that, that dude was special and he was mm -hmm. only a freshman. Mm -hmm. All right, we're getting two point conversion. I think we're down – we're 21-21 now, all right? Yeah. So, I was wrong at the beginning of this video, but we got it on track. 21-21, there's Delaquan, 45. Man, he's a hoss. He was real good when he was in that outside backer, defensive end kind of role. And then this year, Fury had to move him back inside a little bit, mm -hmm. and he didn't have as good a year. We're just – y'all are just gashing us and gashing us and gashing us right now. That was good about this team, man. They were – they looked the part. And at times, they played the part. And then one bad thing would happen, and they would just fall apart. Mm.
That's a good read. We just we didn't didn't pull back too deep. Well. Didn't squeeze very well. What was Fury doing at this point in the game? Y'all are driving. It's tied. I know he was excited and doing some. He honestly stayed out of our ear um, for yeah. the most part. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. He he was always making adjustments with the defensive staff or whatever, and left left Tony alone pretty much on the offense. How how did that happen? Because I know when I was, we were both assistants at Western Hornet. He never shut up. Both sides. I mean, of the ball. He hardly ever said anything. Because honestly, I just do what, he, just do what uh, I knew he wanted anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, on Thursday nights, see, I was calling plays on Thursday nights, and it was a little different story, except Fury being the, the sly devil he, he was, was uh, he wouldn't be in my ear. He'd be in Tony's ear, and Tony would be beside me. He, he must have learned after uh, – because I remember when I was calling plays on JV when we were both assistants, I remember one one time he was like, run the down, run the down, run the down. I finally run the down. He's like, not then. It's like, okay. <laughs> that sounds about, That's about right. right. So we're inside the five. Inside the five. Okay, this is our our great coaching mo move here. And I'll tell you, we put fifteen, our best athlete. He hadn't played any defense all year. We put him at inside linebacker. Like, go make plays. We didn't really coach him up. He just said, go make plays. Sometimes that's all it takes. Boom. Right. And he Fourth stopped down, him man. right there. Now, and I remember this. He's going to break one right here. Going to run belly for the 30th time. And we, we think he's gone. He runs out of gas. And now he's done. The rest of this series, he's gassed. We can't use him anymore. So we're, we're trying to smoke and mirrors, you guys. I didn't know. I don't know if y'all know this or notice this yet, but he's gassed. Well, see, that's that's the beautiful thing. Fury kind of stay out of our hair on the offensive side and on defense. Tony and I were usually way away from people. Like if you look on the film, I guarantee you we're down here way on the left. Oh, look at there. We run scissors too, and ah, oh, we almost got it. Oh, what happened? We run. We ran scissors off of power. Because we didn't run buck, because um, we're no, no good at it. But we run says, oh, the sophomore, he just turns up, turns up more. Dang on. Then we run power. And getting a little excited over there, Wednesday. I saw you on the sideline. Oh yeah. Because he, here's the thing, and I'm going to stop it right here to just say, say this. James Gunn, I love him to death. He was our 34 right there. But there's something to be said, dude, when you have a dude in the backfield, 15, like we did, Shay, Shay Jeffers, that all their other running backs want to run just like Shay Jeffers. And I love James to death, but he can't juke and job like Shay Jeffers. And he was like, oh, oh, I can, I can do it. And he started running. Sometimes he, a lot of times he ran like Shay Jeffers and get four or five yard losses. But when he ran straight like he did those last two plays, he was a heck of a back force. But sometimes that's a bad thing about have, having that dude in the backfield. Everybody wants to be like him. Hey, that's a good story, though. To have that dude in the backfield, that's a good problem. Oh, it is. It's it's a great problem. Great problem to have. Because he makes chicken, chicken, you know what, in the chicken salad. Oh, yeah. You're right here. Because there's no way we're blocking you right now. We're tired. Our All our offensive linemen have played defense all game long. We're tired. We're, we're done. That's a trap. Wasn't it? Trying to. Y'all killing us. Up front, but we got that dude. 
have yards. <laughs> yeah, we got it. And I guarantee Jason's cussing right there at that timeout. Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. But but we're 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 gas. We're trying to throw the ball now. Just tried to run scissors again. Y'all snuffed it out, and it's just not executing right now. We're and we don't have a field goal kicker, <laughs> so. When in doubt, go deep. Yeah, pretty much. We get into Norman's favorite shotgun, and then, oh, I thought he had it right there. Well, you got kids open all over the field. <laughs> Don't talk bad about being the shotgun if you got kids open. <laughs> well, we, we got to get it there. I guess running the ball has its place, too. Uh, so at this point, you know, honestly, I remember the offensive line and everybody were just ready. Let's, all right, let's go match it and let's go win the game. And the, you look, they're getting a pretty yeah. good push. Y'all are pretty much hanging it to us. We're, and at this point, I'm like, if, if y'all score here, we're done. Because offensively, we're, we're, we don't have any tricks left off up our sleeves and our guys are gassed. So we're just trying to hold on at this point. Should have just stayed and ran power right, power left, power right, power left. Not now. Last play, they got a lot of a lot of good penetration. We still yeah. seven yards, but brought in the freshman, Miles Oliver. Oh. Every time he'd keep the ball, it scared me. Yep. You never knew what was going to happen. It'd either be real good or real bad. Mm. Oh. That helped us. Penalties always help. Yeah, that kid, that kid that just jumped off star uh jumped off sides, he's uh I talked to him a couple weeks ago. He's changed his major and wants to get into coaching. So I told him if you need oh, anything. Is that Noah? Noah. That's Noah, yeah. Oh, I remember him as a freshman. He's a good kid. He, I talk to him every now and then on Facebook. He, he's yep. a good kid. He's a good kid. Now, the problem with us running outside is our offensive lineman took a playoff. And now yeah. we're in third and forever, which <laughs> never a good idea for us. And is this the one where he runs out of bounds instead of throwing it away? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that All was, he's got to do is throw it away. Watch this one. Yeah, just throw it away. He runs way out of bounds. That's when you get up on the fence. Yeah. Oh, no blood, no foul. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, we didn't have, you know, elite speed on offense on this team. You know, 32 was, was Javante. He was saying he was okay speed-wise. <laughs> um, Tyler was not fast. You saw the tight end. Know, be back right. square, so, but they didn't have to be. Just so everybody knows, and I know we don't see the clock, but this is we're, – we're probably 50 seconds left in the game, if that, probably 30-something seconds left in the game. I know I'm thinking overtime. I know y'all – you guys were thinking it's got to be overtime. Yeah. Um, but th this is – yeah, we were already talking to the offensive kids about, uh, about overtime. Y'all weren't talking to kids over about we, overtime? We were. Yeah, we were talking to them about overtime and what we were going to do in overtime and, you know, what you had to do on the toss and all that good stuff. We get right here. I'm thinking, daggone, it just, it just ain't going to happen. Uh, I don't think we're going to get to playoff, but I'm yelling, cheetah, 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 which is our go route. And then oh. there it happens. Last play of the game. We're, and this is the reason uh, I decided to do this video or got you guys to do this video because I put this clip up on Facebook while I was looking to do other videos. 
and it got a hundred responses and it just brought back back some good some bad memories but everybody knew when this play happened where they were at um and what they were thinking uh right there's me and you tony look right there on the mm-hmm. at the line of scrimmage and i remember thinking when that ball's in the air i went oh crap i don't know my even exact words were oh god i didn't re- i didn't even see the play because I'm looking at our offensive linemen that stand still because they think, and they came over and told me, we thought you were taking a knee. We thought the, we were going to overtime. And our quarterback gets demolished here. He's yeah, going to he be does. out of the game if we go to overtime. That kid right there on his way to the end zone, if y'all catch him, he's all, he's pulled his hammy. So, I mean, we'll watch it one more time. Thanks. Um, just, just throw salt in the wound. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, Coach Dumas, what were you thinking while, when this was going on? Well, as I saw my lineman on skates going backwards, um, <laughs> <laughs> I was praying I had a job. But uh, <laughs> praying and, and praying that once the ball was in there, that that it would come down, and it did. So I was I was caught in shock. Everybody else was running around, and I was like, "What in the world did we just see?" So. Yeah, I, w- I w- as soon as I heard the crowd on our side stop yelling at me and start cheering, I was like, where's the flag? There's got to be a flag here um, because I was like, this can't happen. But it did. Um, it, w- it was a very emotional game. I think I remember coming, and I don't know if y'all remember this, I actually came out. Um, shook Fury's hands and was like, I'm sorry, because I didn't want the game to end like that. I um, and I and I came came to y'all's locker room, the locker room we gave you, and kind of apologized to y'all, all, you, all of you guys. I don't know why I was apologizing. I just felt bad, because I know y'all were probably sick to your stomachs at that point, because y'all had worked yeah. so hard and pretty much dominated the whole game um, to that point. So, yeah, I remember, I remember coming across and saying I'm sorry, and I thought, dude, don't be sorry. I mean, you just won the ball game. Like, well, um, guys, this is. I'm going to give y'all any last thoughts on Coach Fury or this ball game. We'll start with you, uh, Coach Dumas. Uh, give you a couple couple seconds. All right, but um, I'm forever grateful to Coach Fury because. Um, right after I graduated from college, I was banging on doors like a dang on vacuum salesman. I went up to the clinic and I saw on one of the boards that they had a flyer for Western Hornet um, for it was an offensive position or something. But <clears throat> I took down the number, called Coach Fury, and we set up an interview right there at the clinic. And it turned out that they didn't have a, I was a PE teacher and they didn't have a position available, but he said, I have a friend up there who just got a, a job at BY, and he's looking for some help. And so he he uh, got in contact with him and, and referred me up there. And that was my first opportunity to, you know, get my dream job of coaching football. So um, ever since and every time I got the chance to tell him, I would tell him thank you um, because that's how much grateful I was for him to, you know, take that shot and just refer me up to Coach Wellesby and help me out. So I always, every time I saw him, I told him how, how much, how thankful I was. Coach Pollan? So it's uh, it's kind of funny how it even worked out that I ended up uh, going to Western with Jason because <clears throat> I had gone back to Texas uh, after being here for eight years. I went back to Texas and uh, wife and I decided we were coming back out here. And – um, I actually, same situation, I kind of saw that, I saw his name and I was like, I remember Jason. And uh, because when I was the head coach at East Montgomery, he was the head coach at Union Pines and we did seven on sevens together and stuff like that. So honestly, I called him and, and just asked him about different jobs in the area. Um, and then it wasn't maybe two, three weeks later, he calls me and says, hey, I got an offensive coordinator position and we got a credit recovery job. You interested? 
I said, hey, brother, you're the only one who's got something on the table for me. Heck, yeah, I'm interested. Let's go. Um, so um, that's kind of how I got back there. And, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, the – the thing that you remember the most about Jason is that is that he um, had a great football mind and he loved the sport and loved the kids um, probably more than most coaches. And I think we all, you know, do love the sport and love kids, but yeah, there was something, something special about him. Um, you know, he, uh, he gave it, gave us an opportunity and it was a, it was great. And I've, I cherish every day of, of, you know, working with him and uh, just, Missed the dude because he'd call and talk to you, and it'd be just out of the blue about random stuff. But it, it's I just kind of missed that. You know, every once in a while, picking up the phone and we're having a conversation about politics or something, or he's talking to me about a football team I don't really even know much about, but we just talk. Um, so miss that dude. Go ahead, Coach Norman. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of the same as other coaches here. He kind of helped me get my start. I was actually uh, do I had to do I was at Campbell and I had to do a short internship and I was in Trisha's classroom and uh, I I show, you know shown some interest in wanting to get into coaching and things like that and he had my number and actually Brock was still the was still the head coach when all that was going on and then Brock leaves and Jason gets it and I'm actually setting up student teaching at my high school back in Yakin County. And I get a call one day. He says, hey, I'm, he was at the clinic. He said, hey, I'm at the, the clinic with our principal, and we want to offer you a job. Are you interested? And I said, um, sure. So I didn't, you know, I had no intentions really of going back to Western after my – but, I'm, you know, I'm very thankful that I did because the, the four or five years that he and I were, were pretty close, he, he became a really good friend of mine. And um, like you all said, he cared about the kids and loved the game of football. And you – if you answered the phone, Fury called, it was a 45 minute conversation. No matter, no matter when he called you, you were on the phone for 45 minutes at least. And it'd always be like, coach, I got to go. My wife's here with, you know, we're getting ready to have dinner. I got to go. He said, okay, well, I'll talk to you later. And then, you know, next day you can do the same thing. So I do, I miss him a lot. Uh, you know, we, it's just, it's, it's awesome to get to work with him and for him. And I have similar experiences to all you guys. He didn't, actually helped me get a job because we were, I was already on the staff at Western Harnett. He came over from Jack Britt when um, coach, the coach there went to Scotland County and he came over to Western Harnett and I credit him for, for one, teaching me just about everything he could or everything I know about football and the wing tee and, and special teams, especially special teams, I learned from Coach Fury because um, I, I met him as a low, young coach and he became one of my best friends. Now that first three months was rough. We, we had to get – Fury had one of those personalities where he, he, could, he could push – he could – rub you the wrong way but it was because he was pushing you to be great he wanted you to be as a perfectionist as he was and that's what I take uh from him and I miss him dearly and I know there's hundreds of coaches out there that they kind of feel the same way and that's kind of why we're, we're doing we did this video well that's it from the Fieldhouse, this was part three of Bartlett Yancey and Western Harnet. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you please like, subscribe, and comment below. Tell us what you think, and we'll see you next time at the Fieldhouse.